Now, this tarot challenge is super hard and boy did I have to strategize for it. But now that I did, I'm really excited to be filming my video response to the lovely Nova Luna for her newest hashtag, 10 Forever Marseille Cards. Marseille Tarot friends, Masha here, welcome to my channel. As you have just heard, I am coming to you today with my VR to the wonderful Nova Luna, who is the kindest, one of the kindest people I know on TerraTube, who said to us, not a very easy tarot challenge to those of us, especially who love our Marseille tarot decks, who are Marseille tarot lovers, enthusiasts, and readers. And yes, yeah, so the tag is where Nova Luna posed us a challenge to share only 10 of our Forever Marseille cards. Not easy, right? Of course, this tag is a very difficult one for me to do. Just look behind me, right? I am a big lover of historic tarot, and especially, well, I love Italian historic decks. I love my Marseille tarot, and I do. I'm very fortunate uh, to have quite a substantial collection of uh, those Marseille tarot decks that this challenge is all about. And I love all of them, right? More than 10, like I've got dozens of Marseille tiaras in my collection. So to do this tag, I had to find some kind of a loophole. And I think I have found one and I did so by, well, strategizing as I mentioned, but yes, uh, so I found my loophole by using my strategy of narrowing down my choices by intentionally setting some boundaries, some criteria, some boundaries to myself. Sounds very cruel, right? Although it's not because it's really helping me. The background noise is my little kitten playing there next to me. So with this, the first thing I did when I watched uh, Nova Luna's original video, which by the way is linked for you in the description box below. So what I did the first thing is I sat down and I pulled out, I chose my top 10 Tarot de Marseille decks, right? As my current one, since I'm putting like 2024 for the stack, just for my own reference. So I chose my top 10 favorite Marseille Tarot decks just to stay focused, not to be distracted with some other ones that I have, but that's my own challenge to myself, right? Then after I chose my top 10 Marseille Tarot decks, I went down and I wrote down uh, 10 trump cards, you know, 10 out of 22 major arcana cards that uh, I, um, I always uh, check, research, look out for when um, either looking at or looking at buying a new Tarot de Marseille decks, right? Like, Pretty much, well, 10 trump cards out of 22, 10 majors that are my favorite or important to me, especially important. So I chose those. So 10 favorite Tarot de Marseille decks, current favorites, 10 trump cards that I favor out of the whole of Major Arcana. And lastly, and by the way, it's all for making, <laughs> making this tag doable for me. <laughs> So lastly, after that, uh, I made the choice to go puristic on it, right? So I'm going all puristic here. So in this video, I will only be featuring the cards from Marseille Tarot decks that adhere truly, as true as I could, right? So that adhere truly to purely to Tarot de Marseille tradition. Let me just take a moment to explain what I mean here. So just to give an example, while my favorite magician, Le Batelot, may be the one from the Vandenborg Terror, and my favorite devil, this cutest, adorable, colorful devil that matches my clothing, uh, may be from uh, uh, Atoy Terror, Adam, Adam C. Atoy Terror, I 
I'm not featuring these cards in this challenge because both Vandenbo Tarot and Otto Tarot they belong to Flemish to Rwan Brussels tradition where in those decks um, for the Arcanum 2 and 5 we see the French captain and Bacchus respectively well, of course, in traditional Terra de Marseille decks, we have Poip and Porpes, right? So those two cards, those two favorite cards of mine are out of this challenge. Then, uh, even though my favorite sun card comes from uh, Doti Tero, from Giordano Bertis, Doti, uh, reproduction of Doti Tero, this deck is not included in this video formally either because the magician in this deck, the Bagato, is featured as the, as a, the shoemaker, right? Artisanal shoemaker, opposed to the con artist, the street, street performer that traditional Marseille tiaros feature. Similarly, with me being obsessed with the purple in this deck from Artisan Terra Reproduction, Vivil Astronoma for the star, even though I absolutely adore the Astronoma for the star card, this card doesn't adhere to the lineage of Terra de Marseille where we see the maiden with her two vessels of water. So that's that, and that's my biggest loophole, and uh, did you notice what I have just done here? And I apologize, I don't think it's cheating, but I have just shared with you four of my favorite <laughs> cards, right, from historic decks, but I don't think it's cheating, because they don't belong to Terra de Marseille lineage, the boundaries I set for myself, so, but now, yeah, okay. Now that I have clarified my approach to the stag and the boundaries I established to myself in a little loophole I found to include a little bit few more cards there just to show you because we all love Tierra. Now I am ready to share with you my 10 Forever Marseille cards from my current top 10 favorite Tierra de Marseille decks. Let me begin by sharing with you three persons cards, three people cards in uh, from the major arcana in Tiero that I especially pay attention to before I purchase uh, a Tiero de Marseille deck when I research them. So the first one, it has to be full. I do love uh, my fools in my Tieros. So this one is from uh, Claude Francois Caraja which originated in 1815 and this one is the restoration by the very talented wonderful Pablo Robledo whose work I love they're the bags what uh, I very much like about this deck that was well, ghost lining is there of course being Pablo he's very skilled at uh, entertaining us and indulging us in this high quality very detailed thought through well thought through restorations but also i very much love the aged backgrounds i do love pablo's soft line work the face of this fool is adorable to me but what i especially love in this particular card that we can see the head of the fool this kind of mercury mercury wings like head in a uh, fool right because in most terra de marseille decks we do see half of it or more or less of the head just being cut off with the top border so that makes Karaja Tiero is very special but also I think uh, Claude Francois Karaja is one of the most charming historic decks ever and uh, I also very much love the warm autumn, uh, autumnal colors the cat is delightful the heels is a sweet addition for me to this full card so yeah that's the full the second person's card person card that i look for is the poipus in terra de marseille of course and uh, this one as probably many of you recognize from one of the more popular marseille terrors jean noble terror that was restored by the late jean claude lonois 
these other bags the cards are a little smaller i do love this particular restoration i mean it's become uh, a classic over time because i think what Fleur Noir did for Thierry de Marseille and for I guess popularizing it uh, through restoring his a few decks that he could restore during his lifetime uh, but uh, I love the clarity of the lines right so of course it's a um, restored redrawn copy but I do love the colors that he chose I do really like that look of the spell pass this one is a more on a serious note I wouldn't call her necessarily grumpy grumpy but she is who she is and i do love the addition of pinks i do have a few copies of this deck as backups i um and i think to me because nablé is actually has always been since i started studying marseille like well since i started with camellia alias and did enrique enriquez's courses uh nablé was my go-to study deck so the majority of my earlier readings and still now and then for others and in groups for my study Nablé Tero among a couple of other decks has been my home and uh, just this purpose she just feels very familiar to me and the third card that I chose to share I actually well you probably noticed with these two cards what I've done I chose 10 10 of the trump cards that are important to me but also each of them comes from a different deck from my top 10 tarot de marseille decks as of uh, this particular moment although as a disclaimer i have to say that in these 10 decks that i'm featuring here i love all of the cards of the major arcana so having said that my third person card is the hermit always love to look for the hermit in my decks and uh, this one comes from Marco Bernadetti's version of uh, the Jean Payen 1743 so Marco has had a permission from the museum in uh, Spain I trust was it for near museum to to uh, reproduce this and in this version can just show you the bags i very much like uh, the blues the deep deep blues uh in the cloak of the hermit i am partial to sam salmon pinks and i do love pink colors so i do love this coloring of the inside of the robe of this particular hermit and this is type one uh, this Payen 1743 Jean Payen has become one of my most favorite type ones Marseille Tierras as of as of acquisition of the first version of it I actually do have another version I guess probably can share with you right since it's the same deck the same card just from a different card maker of course this version is absolutely delightful and this is the same deck Jean Payen 1743 but this is a handmade copy also with the license from the same for now muse uh, fournier museum but this one is produced by the wonderful agnes coupler from cartagram so agnes also designed this um customized bakings for me and they're all slightly different but they have so many layers in them and uh, this is well one of my most treasured tiaros of course but also probably one of the ones that i invested mostly right so one of my priciest decks but uh but it's an absolute delight as you can see the blues are also absolutely stunning but just slightly different i guess um, so yes that's my third person's card next uh, group of three cards that i also check out uh, in my decks uh, are the virtues the three virtues represented in tiara with the first arcanum eight of course being justice and justice my justice the one that i'm featuring in my forever card comes from pierre modernier tiara 1709 and this is the restoration from uh, Yves Renault with, and Wilfred Houdouin and um, yeah so this one is from Dijon originally in France 
love with my denier i do even though i very much love my chasson now which is very beautiful i do still consider pierre Madenier being possibly the most beautiful Terre de Marseille, the most beautiful historic Terre de Marseille because of the friendlier faces and uh, I, I do very much love the colors of this uh, edition it's first, second edition I, I trust of uh, Pierre Madenier or first edition of Pierre Madenier Terre Eve does have a uh, uh, version that he uh, um, re-released re again last year, so I trust it's still available. But yes, yeah, so what do I love? The beautiful soft faces I love in modern year. And this Justice card is just, she feels very just to me. They're the bags. Of course, the second virtue in Tarot being uh, Fortitude or Force or Strength card. I picked this one, they're the bags. And this one comes from that Chasson that I just mentioned. This is the reproduction by Sullivan Hismans of Tarot Sheet Revival. And the updated dating of Chasson is actually 1672. So it predates Pierre Madenier Tarot that I just showed you. And uh, once again, softer faces, that's what I like about, about this Fortitude card. And I do love this animal, which is kind of supposed to be like a lion that we used to write in more illustrated decks, more obvious lion. But this one just reminds me of a long-haired spaniel. I used to have a cocker spaniel, so it's kind of I like to see this depiction in the Fortitude card. Again, Sullivan's restoration is exquisite. Just have a look at the line work and the little speckles uh, there um, making the cards look um, antique and aged Sullivan's choice of colors is always just superb and with the backings you will not see it here because I'm not showing the full deck but they're slightly different with the staining different staining on those uh, bags but look um most of the decks I'm featuring here, I have lengthy, um, lengthy videos. So if you want to, if any of them catches your eye, I will link those videos for you below. And uh, the third virtue, stereo virtue, comes from Jean Dodal, and this restoration is uh, also by Jean Claude Lenoir. But this one is a stenciled, hand stenciled version, opposed to the like, seventy-eight card deck. This one is the Major Arcana, which is a hand stenciled. In this temperance, I very much love the more kind of round face. I love that she is bare-breasted, and hand stenciling makes. Um, it just kind of it does feel the card although it's not handmade it's only hand stenciled right printed on the more art paper but um but the coloring like that with hand stenciling the um, depth and slight unevenness of the coloring is very attractive to me and then of course three virtues are meaningful in tiara and to me and so they are the three virtues that i picked for this video today and then we're moving on to the next group of three cards and they are my celestials if this challenge was only about three cards ever right in terra de marseille i would probably go for the celestials at once immediately and um yeah let's go with the celestials the star right so in in the order of the numbering of the arcana so that's the star i picked um this star i mean i love star cards in tiara and i love a few versions of it but um uh, this one is from pablo Larabledo, but i'm just telling you why i picked this particular one for this challenge if i could only pick one it's just because i just prefer the more spread out stars that are done in the more kind of a charming look and uh, this card for me it looks like it could easily have been from a contemporary Tierra de Marseille deck right although it comes from a historic Swiss Marseille and uh, this one is Francois Gassman Tierra originating in 1840 and this one is the Swiss right from Geneva also uh, produced by Yves Grenon and Wilfred Houdon 
this tarot is known for its beautiful greens although you don't see them here but as i mentioned what i do love about this star card that this little kind of flowery stars are spread out and i love her hair as well that's done in a style that can easily be recognized of us today i do love the blues how she depicted a little bit of a round shape of her so not kind of uh angly angly lines do love to have this little blackbird to be visible and uh yeah so i really love how this card is with that kind of almost uh white space behind with the beautiful landscape behind the star figure for the moon i had to go with ben gross's tarot the results one of my all-time favorite tarot with the cards being uh, rather larger than uh, than the previous of the previous cards you've seen so if you if i show you this uh the previous star card right so the backings are stunning right and gasman those blue backs so you can see substantially larger but what made me the backs do the backs and other results what made me pick this one is well firstly of course it's um it's uh inspired by the historic jean pierre payen tiara not to be confused with the jean payen i shared so jean payen dates according to if 1713 and um it's um ben gross it like he took liking to the historic payen and then he created his own version so it's very true to marseille but the deck again not to take your time uh, uh the they're the colors of the trumps right the borders but the deck is uh, the suits are color coded and again have the full video will link for you below but i love the friendly dogs they look very friendly to me they look like my uh chappy especially this one he just looks kind of very joyful sort of and the moon is a little bit less grumpy than we know in payen but the colors the colors are just absolutely delightful i love my uh turquoises i love my teals i love my malachite type of colors so those shades are just make me really happy it's just like a candy for my eyes and i think a beautiful beautiful depiction of um the historic moon card version of it based on it by a contemporary talented artist i also although i'm not featuring it but i do very much like this moon as well from Karaza. but hey if i had to pick one that will be my pick for today and uh the star card the last celestial this one is uh from pablo robledo's marcella just took two of coins to illustrate from which deck it's from and that's the sun card um the marcella is uh well the marcella this tarot was the second tarot de marseille i ever had so it's very very special to me but also again that aged look this beautiful this is pablo's own deck right so but it's inspired by a number of my favorite historic decks including Madonie and Chasson, which i featured in this video and a few others conver as well that you might recognize um but um yeah so once again it's a deck inspired by a number of classic historic deck that's done absolutely beautifully it's just exceptional tarot in my books i people love seeing the brightness of the colors very nice antique again aged backgrounds beautiful jolly children people and uh, delightful back and the last card i have to share with you the 10th card is the world also love the world card in tarot right well four is not really the first one really to complete but uh the last one 21 arcanum 21 is uh the uh world this one is from uh, the tarocca marsilia classico and this is a deck based on a Swiss Marseille, but uh, produced by Elmini Gela. From memory, it was done by, illustrated by Osvaldo Menigazzi, by the late Osvaldo Menigazzi, who actually founded Elmini Gela, passed now a couple of years ago, passed on, um, but love it again. There are the backs. 
the colors in it absolutely beautiful i do love the crescent moon on uh, um, as a crown for the world figure i really like uh, the mandola with addition of this beautiful blue flowery patterns and uh, the backgrounds brownish kind of it goes through very uh, consistent throughout the deck so um, this one you just uh, love this card aesthetically it just makes me happy to look at even if you look at this uh, depicted look at their all their faces they're a little bit uh, cheeky extremely charming so what not to love about this world card right and now a quick recap of my 10 forever marseille cards i started with my three people cards i continued with my three virtues which are important to me in terra then i shared with you my three celestials finishing it off with the world. I hope so much that you enjoyed uh, having seen my selection and I hope so much you can forgive me finding a little loophole and how I did my response but that's the only way that I could do it and I did want to post it this weekend because next week I am away and I'll be very I'm away on holidays by the beach right with good internet so I'll actually be looking forward to see some more videos to this tag and to top tarot trumps of course series and project that we are doing and a few people joined on and I'm very grateful to Nova Luna to Nova for such a general shout out as well that she gave me in her previous video introducing this tag introducing Nova's uh, 10 forever Marseille cards tag I absolutely love Nova uh, and yeah and I yeah if you uh, of course the channel her channel is linked below for you to check out I absolutely recommend it and to all of you watching whether you are Marseille tarot lover or just an enthusiast of tarot or any particular tradition we all like Nova I'm sure and myself uh, we would love to hear from you so please again use Nova's link to respond use the comment section below to respond especially with my video I am especially curious to hear whether you, there are some tarot cards in your deck that you look for right that you need to check before you buy that you research and look out for uh, and maybe some deal breakers that you have right when it comes to your aesthetics in tarot but i will let you go now i am so very grateful for your time i'm sending much love to you all i will see you very soon until next time